ओम शांति नमस्कार मुरली नवंबर 17 2023 बाप दादा मधु वर्जन ऑफ श्री बाबा एसेंस ऑफ द मुरली स्वीट चिल्ड्रन इन ऑर्डर टू बिकम ए गार्लैंड अराउंड द फादर्स नेक व्हाट वी हैव टू डू Tabas is race in knowledge and yoga. Race we have to make in knowledge, understanding, making a practical life, and yoga that is connection with Baba. Your duty is to give the whole world the father's introduction. It is our duty to give father's introduction to give the knowledge. and in knowledge first lesson is father's introduction with our sons question which intoxication should you constantly maintain so that your illness is cured illness in this world all are ill because all are body conscious so what is the reason baba is indicating in a very very deep way answer maintain the intoxication of knowledge and yoga This is the, you can say, best method, so that our illness will be cured with the help of knowledge and yoga. It doesn't mean that we are not supposed to take any medication. Babas, you can take by considering medication as a fruit, but main medication is knowledge and yoga. Don't worry about the those old bodies. worry is the main reason of today's world illnesses somebody say worry somebody say tension somebody say depression name may be anything but all negativity and waste that is the main cause of illness the more your intellects are pulled to your bodies the more greed you have the more illness there will be so baba clearly indicates that body consciousness is the main root cause of our illnesses and so our intellects are pulled to our bodies and we have a more greed towards the body and bodily relations and more illness will come to decorate your bodies to put on powder and cream etc he is all useless I must say, by decorating our body, we are becoming attractive towards self and others. So, I must say that is also one kind of sin because we are coming in body consciousness, and body consciousness is a great sin. You have to decorate yourself with this knowledge and yoga. I must say, if you wanted to decorate yourself, no problem at all. But decorate with knowledge and yoga. This is your true decor. song the rain of knowledge is for those who are with the beloved om shanti those who are with the father there are many fathers in the world but the father the creator of all of them is one so physical fathers everybody we have that is separate father many fathers but god the father only one he alone is the ocean of knowledge you definitely have to understand that the supreme father the supreme soul is the ocean of knowledge we must understand we are you can say telling baba baba holy but we are not understanding only through this knowledge do you receive salvation liberation in life only when the golden age is established can human beings have salvation without that all are in bondage that is bondage is of starting from body consciousness the father alone is called the best over of salvation nobody in the world is called best over of salvation mukti jivan mukti dada best over of liberation and best over of salvation only he is only when it is the confluence does the ocean of knowledge come and take you from degradation to salvation only one time during the whole kalpa 
not many incarnations, only one incarnation at the end of Iron Age and beginning of the Golden Age, that is Confluence Age. He comes and grant the salvation from degradation. Bharat is the most ancient of all. We lost everything in our country, in our Bharat. Everything. Education, custom, system, food, everything. See what is happening, particularly in Bharat. Only for the people of Bharat has 84 births have been remembered. Only in Bharat, no other one. <clears throat> Surely the human beings who come first would take 84 births. You say 84 births of the deities, and so there are also 84 births of Brahmins. But not all Brahmins. Those Brahmins who are making effort and coming in Golden Age, they only take 84 births. And that is also the beginning of the Golden Age. At the end of the Golden Age, about almost 20 million deities are there. So, beginning, it is the main ones that are mentioned. No one knows about these things. <clears throat> He definitely creates the world through Brahma. <clears throat> Why? Because he has no body. First of all, he has to create subtle world and then this corporeal world. Very, very important statement, Baba Mary. He cannot come down without creating the subtle world. So he has to create subtle world and then this corporeal world means transformation of this world. Corporeal world is already there, but that is the Iron Age world. We want Golden Age world. We want salvation. So he is then transforming, creating, means transforming corporeal world. Creating means not creating a new. You children know what we know, where the subtle region is and where the incorporeal world is. Nobody knows in the Iron Age world. The incorporeal world, the subtle region and the corporeal world are called three lok, three worlds. Since you speak of Triloki Nath, the Lord of three worlds, this has to have a meaning. There must be three worlds. Must there not? Every religion, almost all religion, they are talking about different worlds, but they don't know. In fact, only the one father and his children can be called Triloki Nath. Lord of the three lok, that is all three worlds. Here some people are called Triloki Nath, some are called Shiva, some are called Brahma, some are called Vishnu, Shankar, etc. The people of Bharat has given themselves these names. Even in our gold, iron Age world, they are giving this name. They even have double names, forget about single name. Radhe Krishna, Lakshmi Narayan. No one knows that Radhe and Krishna are from separate kingdoms. They don't know. They consider themselves from the same place. But Baba says, no, they have separate kingdoms. He was a prince of one kingdom, O Krishna, and she was a princess from another kingdom. Radhe. You know this at this time, otherwise we were also not knowing in the past. Before coming to Baba's knowledge, we were not knowing. These points are imbibed very well by the intellects of the good children. Not all children. For instance, Baba gave example, what he means by good children? A clever doctor would be aware of the names of many types of medicine. Here too, many new points continue to emerge. So if we are missing the Murlis, we are not listening the Murlis, not reading the Murli, we will miss many, many points. Inventions continue to take place day by day. Those who practice well would imbibe new points. If you don't imbibe, you cannot be brought into the line of Maharathis. Everything depends on the intellect, and it is also a matter of fortune. Baba's intellect will not open till the fortune. It doesn't mean that effort will be made based on fortune. No, fortune means to be a Brahman is a fortune. 
to be a deity is a cordial respects in the drama. But after becoming a Brahmin, we must make an effort to get the high status. So it is a matter of fortune, of course, but without effort, no result. This is also in the drama, is it not? No one knows the drama. No one knows in the world. You understand that you are playing your parts on the field of actions. Karma, Kshetra, Dharma, Kshetra, the wording of Gita. So many things, so deep. Baba comes and explains everything. So no physical war, field of action, karma, kshetra. However, if you don't know the beginning, the middle and end of the drama, you don't know anything. You have to know everything. You children know what we know, that the father has come. And so it is the duty of you children to give others his introduction. It is our duty, nothing else. It is your duty to tell the whole world so that no one can say that they weren't aware of this. No one can say at the end that they were aware, they were not aware that God has come. Many will come to you. Many will also take the literature. Children had many visions at the beginning. Christ and Abraham came to Bharat. Truly, Bharat continues to fool everyone. See, very, very important word. Christ and Abraham came to Bharat. That's the reason why the Lord Christ history, if you go through the history from year age of 10 to 29, where he is, nobody's clear. Nothing is mentioned in Bible anyway. He was in the Bharat. Why? They have to take basic knowledge of the Bharat, whatever available at that time. Everything is taken from our scriptures. Name may be different, presentation may be in different way, but they all take took the knowledge from Bharat. They have to come to the Bharat, even at the end too. Truly, Bharat continues to pull everyone. In reality, Bharat is the birthplace of the unlimited father. Nobody claim, no land can claim that it is a land of birthplace of unlimited father except the Bharat. However, those people don't know that this Bharat is God's birthplace. Even Bharat was, he don't know. Forget about other people. They speak of the Supreme Soul Shiva, but by saying that everyone is the Supreme Soul, they have lost the importance of the unlimited Bharat. God omnipresent and everything has been lost. <coughs> You children now explain. What we explain? The land of Bharat is the greatest pilgrimage place of all. All the messengers who come just come to establish their own religions. Those of all other religions continue to follow them down. It is now the end. People try to go back, but who brought you here? People try to go back. Why? Because they want liberation. Nobody wants here because it is a world of sorrow. Christ came and established the Christian religion. He pulled them down here. All the founding fathers come and pulling down their followers, their souls who are followers of them. Now everyone is fed up and wants to go back home. Why? Too much sorrow. Now we can see the condition of the world, so many wars, so many, you can say, problems in the world, every nook and corner. You have to explain this. Everyone comes to play his or her own part. And while playing your parts, you have to come into so No choice. Everything becomes old from new. Then it is father's duty to liberate you from sorrow and then take you in happiness. Father is the sorry, Bharat is the father's birthplace among you children too. Not all of you know the importance of this. <coughs> among us too, everybody don't know the importance of Bharat. There are a few who understand this and their intoxication remains high. Without understanding, no intoxication.
Only in Bharat does the father come every cycle. Only in Bharat does the father come every cycle. You have to tell this to everyone. You have to invite them. First of all, you have to do this service. You have to prepare literature. You have to give everyone an invitation. No one has the knowledge of the creator or of the creation. You should become serviceable and glorify your name. Everyone asks for the help of the clever children who have many points in their intellects. They continue to chant the names of these children. Firstly, they chant the name of Shri Baba, then of Brahma Baba, and then of the children number wise. On the path of devotion, they turn the beads of rosary physically. Now, you chant the names through your lips, so and so he is very serviceable. He is egoless, very sweet. He is egoless, very sweet, and doesn't have any body consciousness. Who? Those who are really serviceable. It is said, what is said, become sweet, and everyone will be very sweet. Why? Because as we are, so the world will treat us. So Baba says, become sweet and everyone will be very sweet to you. The father says, you children have become very unhappy. And if you know, if you now remember me, I will help. What can I do if you have dislike? This is like disliking yourself. In that case, you want to receive a status. You receive so much wealth. When someone wins a lottery, he becomes so happy in the world. There are so many prizes there. First prize, second prize, third prize. In the same way, this is the spiritual race. This is the race of knowledge and the power of yoga. Those who go fast in this will become the garland around father's neck and they will sit close to the throne. So if you wanted to come close to the throne, Baba say have a race of knowledge and yoga, power of yoga. Without that, nobody will get the fruit. So Baba says, all of this is explained to you very easily. Also look after your homes because you are karma yogis. Baba say karma yogis, we are not supposed to go and sit at center or sit at home. We have to look after everyone. You have to study in class for an hour and then go home and think about these things. They do the same at school too. Students who are studying, they are going to the school, coming home, they are doing their homework and homework, everything. They study and then go home and do their homework. The father says study for an hour, half an hour. There are eight hours in a day. Out of that too, the father says, study for an hour. If not that, then for half an hour. Attend class for even 15 to 20 minutes. Imbibe that and then become engaged in your business, etc. Baba says, if you have lesser time, job problems, business problems, Baba says, at least for 15, 20 minutes. In the early days, Baba used to make you sit in remembrance and tell you to spin the discuss of self-realization. Early days, when Yajna was established, Baba was doing personally Brahma Baba, and then Dadas and Dadis were doing personally. We have seen these things. There was the now nobody is a time, so we have to prepare by our, our own self. There was the mention of remembrance. Remember the father and the inheritance, and spin the discourse of self-realization, then when you feel sleepy, go to sleep. So how to sleep, Baba, so the way. Then your final thoughts will lead you to your destination, and when you wake up in the morning, you will remember those points. That's the reason we are reading Murli at 8.30 p.m. in the evening. Why? So that we can remember the points on the next day at Amaribbala. And we can adjust our job and we can listen Murli very easily. 
by practicing this, you will become conquerors of sleep. <clears throat> Those who do something will receive the reward of it. When do when you do something, it is visible. Your behavior reveals it. The behavior of those who don't do anything is completely different. It is seen when a child joins the ocean of knowledge and imbibes knowledge and doesn't have any greed, etc. Those bodies are old. Those bodies will be fine when, when you imbibe this knowledge and yoga. If you don't imbibe this, your bodies will continue to decay even more. So, it is for the physical health to Baba clearly indicating in science one day will establish a link for this. That is 100%. Now science is going toward that, that everything because of the mind only. 90% diseases are psychosomatic miscreating from psyche that is from thoughts. In Baba's meditation means positive thinking. You are to receive new bodies in the future. Not right now. Body the same. We are getting the birth through knowledge. You souls have to make your souls pure. Those are old bodies. No matter how much powder and lipstick, etc. you put on, how much you decorate them, they are not worth a penny. Because by decorating, we are becoming more body conscious. Not only we are. We are making others also body conscious. So both side scenes are there. So we have to be very, very careful. All of the decoration is useless. All of you are engaged to see Baba. Baba told me all days, yesterday's morning. Sorry, blessings is with Baba. Father's day, Mother's day, all days. When a marriage is to take place, the bride first wears old clothes on that day. You must not now decorate your body. What it means, Baba says, now it is the old clothes, old age. So no need to decorate our body. If you decorate yourself with this knowledge and yoga, you will become princess and princesses in the future. This is a lake of knowledge that is mind so over. Continue to take it deep in this knowledge and you will become an angel of heaven. The subjects would not be called angels. They say Krishna abducted women and made them into empresses. It would not be said that he abducted them. No. And then made them into cremators of the subjects. He abducted and made her empresses, not cremator of the subjects. He abducted them to make them into emperors and empresses. You should also make this effort. So who not Krishna, Sri Baba, Supreme Godfather. Don't be happy with whatever status you receive. Baba say, make efforts. Make steep efforts, strong efforts. The main, main thing here is the study. This is the school. Many people open Gita Patshala. Those people simply sit and relate Gita world, in the world and make you learn it by heart. Some people select a verse and then speak on that for half or three quarters of an hour. There is no benefit in that. Baba said, how many discussions, how much discussion they do, how much they speak about the versions, particularly slow cards, but Baba said, no benefit at all. Why? The father sits and teaches you real thing. Your aim, aim and objective is clear. There is no aim or objective in reading the Vedas and the scriptures or in chanting or doing the pasha. So no benefit. Continue to make effort, that's all. However, what will you receive? It is said, when people do a lot of devotion, they find God. The day definitely has to come after the night. It is a rule of the nature, law of the nature. It will all happen at the right time. It will not happen early. It will not happen late. Right time. Some say the duration of each cycle is the one thing. And others say it is something else. Duration of cycle. Thousands of years, millions of thousands of years. They have indicated hundreds of thousands of years. When you explain to them, they would say, how could the scriptures be wrong? 
God would not tell lies. People are arguing like that. You need to have the power to explain. So you children need to have the power of yoga. If you wanted the power of power to explain, we must have a power of yoga. Everything become easy with the power of yoga. If you aren't able to do certain things, it means that you don't have the power. That you don't have yoga. In some cases, Baba also helps. Whatever is speaks in the drama continues to repeat. We understand this. No one else understand the drama. Second by second, every second that passes continues to take away. We act according to Srimad. How would you become elevated if you don't follow Srimad? Not everyone can become the same. Those people think that they will all become one in the world. They don't understand the meaning of becoming one. They want to be one, but they don't know what is the meaning. What should they become one of? Should they all become the one father or should they all become one brother? If they were to say that they will become brothers, that's fine. By following Srimad, we truly can become one. All of you are following in one direction. Your father, your teacher and your guru are one. Those who don't follow Srimad fully will not be able to become elevated. If you don't follow Srimad at all, you will be completely finished. Very important. Completely finished. Maya will not leave. They only enter in a race those who are worthy. When it is a big race, they have very good first class horses because they have a big lottery at stake. This too is a horse race. They speak of the horse of Hussein. They have shown Hussein on a horse in a battle. You children are doubly known. No question of battle, either in Hinduism or Islam or Christianity. The violence of lust is number one. No one knows about this type of violence. Even sannyasis don't consider it as such. They simply say that it is a vice. The father says, lust is the greatest enemy. <clears throat> it is this that causes you sorrow from its beginning through the middle to its end. You have to prove to them that this is your Raj Yoga of the family path, where there is Hatha Yoga. They learn Hatha Yoga from Sankaracharya and we learn Raj Yoga from Shiva Acharya. Acharya, Shiva Acharya, Sankaracharya, Shiva Acharya, the teacher. You should tell them these things at the right time, not in the, be not in the beginning, but was the right time. If someone asks you, if the deities take 84 births, how many births would Christians take? Tell them. You can calculate this yourself. There are 84 births in 5,000 years, 82,000 years since Christ came. Now calculate how many births they would take on average. They would perhaps take 30 to 32 bars, not exactly you can say 84 divided by two, no. Because when the souls are coming near fresh, they have a longer lifetime. So birth, number of birth they will take less. So 84 divided by suppose you do, then it comes to 42. Baba never say 42, it's a 30, 32. This is clear. Those who see a lot of happiness will also see a lot of sorrow. Those people see less happiness and so they also receive less sorrow. You have to calculate the average. Those who come later, fewer births. Take fewer births. Naturally, you can, you can also calculate how many births Buddha and Abraham take place. Perhaps there would be a difference of one or two births, not more than that. So you should turn the ocean of knowledge about all of these things. What should we explain if anyone asks us? You should tell them. First of all, you have to claim your inheritance from the father. Baba said, don't go in these trivial matters. First understand who gives the knowledge, how we will get the inheritance from the father. At least remember the father. Each one will take as many births as they are to take. At least claim your inheritance from the father. 
you have to explain this very well. This is something that requires effort. You will become successful by making effort. A very broad and unlimited intellect is required. There has to be a lot of love for Baba and Baba's wealth. Some don't take this wealth at all. Oh, oh, oh. at least imbibe the jewels of knowledge. Baba say, don't take much, but at least imbibe the knowledge. They say, what can I do? I can't understand it. If you don't understand, that is your destiny. Baba say, Baba can explain, we can explain. If they are not able to understand, their fortune is like that. We can explain to them, we can help them, but if they are not ready to accept it, they are not ready to understand that is their destiny, that is their fortune. Achha. To the sweetest, beloved, long lost and now found children, love, remembrance and good morning from the mother, the father, Bab Dada. The spiritual children say namaste to the spiritual father and spiritual father's love, remembrance, good morning. Sorry, spiritual. <clears throat> Love, remembrance, good morning, and say namaste to the spiritual father, spiritual children. Isn't it? Sorry. Mithe, mithe, sikala de bachyo prati, maat pita, baap dada, jayat pyaar, and good morning. Rohani baap ki, rohani bachyo ko namaste, hum rohani bachyo ki, rohani maat pita, baap dada ko, jayat pyaar, good morning, or namaste, shukriya, baba, shukriya. Essence for dhana number one. Don't dislike anyone. Be very sweet with everyone. Baba say, if you dislike, you will be disliked by others. Race in this knowledge and yoga and become a garland around the father's neck. Point number two, become a conqueror of sleep. Wake up early in the morning and remember the father. Spin the discus of self-realization. Instill the habit of churning the knowledge that you hear. Blessing. May you stabilize your intellect in an elevated stage according to the directions and become a master almighty authority. Baba explains. When some children sit in yoga, instead of being soul conscious, they think of service. See, very deep point Baba is explaining. So when we are in yoga, we should not think about service. However, it should not be like that because if instead of becoming bodiless <clears throat> in the final moments, you have the thought of service, you would fail the paper of a second. Remembrance is a separate subject than the service. Both should not be mixed up. While doing service, we remember Baba. We should remember Baba, but while remembering Baba, Baba said, no thought of service to practice we have to make. At that time, you must remember nothing but the Father and of being incorporeal, viceless and egoless. Last three words of Brahma Baba. In thinking about service, you would still come into the physical consciousness. Therefore, when you have to stabilize yourself in a particular stage, Practice becoming stable in that alone. For because only then will you be called a master almighty authority who has controlling and ruling powers. Very important thing, controlling and ruling powers. Slogan, the easy way to overcome any situation is to have one strength and one support. Baba, Baba and Baba. Achha. Oh, Shanti.